Hi everyone, Sifalchemist here. First of all, I would like to thank you for your subscriptions, for your likes, for your comments. It truly means a lot to me. You guys are amazing. You guys are awesome. I would like to remind you that I created another channel called Occult Mysterium. In this channel, I will share exclusively videos about occult knowledge, alchemy, ancient mysteries, and occult sciences. So I would really appreciate it if you can go to the new channel, Occult Mysterium, link in the description box below, and subscribe and show your support there. Thank you very much for your consistent support. I truly, truly appreciate it. I will do my best to continue uploading uh, videos on both channels. And let's get right to the reading. Today is a smoke scrying reading, and it's going to be a message from your guardian spirits. Guardian spirits, guardian demons. And I'm going to invite you to pick one of these two incenses. I'm going to light them up and smoke scry for you. So pick the one that you resonate the most with. And I'm going to start with the one in my right hand right here. Message from your guardian spirits, your guardian demons. What do they want you to know? What do you need to know at the moment? So I'm just lighting up the incense. Harishmilin sirachule keteresh siframalach kalendres minach in my like. So your guardians are saying that you're burnt out, you're tired. You feel down, you don't feel good. You feel like... Mm, I hear the word burned out, you're burned out and you're not sure what to do anymore. You're trying to find a solution to what's going on. You're trying to knock on new doors. I see you uh, applying for new jobs trying to find a new partner, trying to uh, find that soulmate, twin flame for you. It's like a lot of things are not happening for you and it's making you tired. It's making you exhausted uh, in life in general. Here, let me see. Imarush means if Spirit is saying that you have to focus on the positive side of things. And things are gonna come in time. You can't push things, you can't be hasty, you can't rush. You have to first of all focus on yourself, take your time, take it easy, take a break. You need few days off, you need few days, like three to 10 days off. Take three to 10 days off just for yourself. Spend time by yourself, be by yourself, do whatever pleases you because you need to recharge your energy. Spirits are saying, the partner you're looking for, they're gonna come in the right time. First of all, you need to take care of yourself because if that partner shows up right now and they see how you are right now, how you can't handle a lot of things in your life right now they're not gonna be interested in you because when you're ready they're gonna re be ready they're gonna show up they're not gonna show up when you're not ready so spirit wants you to be ready first they want you to prepare they want you to do what um, work on yourself physically and spiritually start eating healthy start working out start exercising Start uh, managing your money properly. Connect to spirit. Be grateful for what you already have. And bring yourself to this higher level, physically and spiritually. And once you do so, the right person is gonna show up. You don't need to be confused about why you don't have the right partner right now. Because you're ignoring the most important thing, which is you. You're ignoring it. First of all, focus on you and then the right person will show up. And this is all connected, it's all interconnected because 
the the confusion you're having is all intertwined with this partnership or with this soulmate thing this twin flame thing um the moment you're gonna take care of yourself the moment you're gonna uh, become who you truly are the confusion is gonna disappear you're gonna know what to do you're gonna know which job to take on uh you're gonna know which endeavor to uh to pursue everything all the puzzle pieces are gonna fall in place and the picture is gonna become clear you're gonna know what to do so i think the problem here so your spirits are saying the problem is from how you're ignoring yourself you need to take care of yourself first and one last message before i move on to the other stick spirit is saying to always believe you lack belief sometimes sometimes you believe in the unknown you believe that the universe is supporting you and sometimes you don't believe in that your spirit starts telling you you have to always believe that the universe is on your side you have to always have that positive mindset that is crucial it's essential for your growth it's the first everything starts with the mindset so your spirits are saying believe in miracles believe in happiness believe in joy believe in abundance believe in your spirit guides believe that the universe is always on your side trying to give you the most amazing things in the world because you deserve them because you're worthy of everything that's amazing and that's what i have for you i'm gonna just close this portal and move on to the next thank you spirits now we're gonna move on to this other stick which i was holding with my left hand for you guys who picked this message from spirit guides guardian demons whichever entities you're working with i'm gonna light up the incense and see what do we have here okay the fire here is much stronger <laughs> oh wow Shimilindrus Ailich Furimik Silakumbish. Your spirits are telling you that you're not practicing enough. You have so much energy in you. <coughs> you have so much. Um, your energy is almost like stuck. There's a lot of, uh, there's a blockage in your heart center and in your belly. Basically, we're talking about solar plexus chakra, heart chakra, if you wanna talk in terms of chakras. But you have this energy stuck in there. It's blocked, but it's powerful. And the reason why it's blocked is because you don't practice. You don't practice the occult. You don't practice witchcraft. You don't practice basically what I'm telling you, what I'm showing you right now. You need to um, see some sort of a healer or a reader or someone that can help you with this blockage so you can get rid of it. If not, um, practicing yoga, qigong, tai chi can help a lot. Um, switching to a diet that's plant-based is going to help a lot too. Exercising. Physical exercise is essential for you. You have to combine all of these things that I said. Physical exercise, plant-based, um, doing yoga, and uh, the, this energy uh, work, uh, such as Qigong or Tai Chi. You have to do all of the latter, and or um, seek an energy healer or, or a reader that can help you with um, this blockage that you have. Because the energy that you have, it it has to come out. It's too it's too stuck within you. It's it's like, it's forming this ball, this knot. I see it as a knot. It's like an energy knot, and it's inside of you, and it's stuck there. 
So you have to start to um, move in your physical body because it's too stuck right now. You have to start. It could be running. You can go and like run fast outside, even if it's for a short distance. Uh, lift weights, something that's going to help you um, explode this energy outside of you because right now it's inside of you and you don't want it to implode because once it implodes inside of you, it might cause a disease, it might cause an illness, a sickness. That's how this energy manifests within people when they don't let it out. It becomes a sickness. Sometimes it becomes a chronic illness and you don't want that to happen. Sometimes it comes out as anger, as lashing out on people, as like blaming other people. You need to find a, a conduit for this energy to come out of you. You need to find a conduit for it. There's many ways, as I mentioned, it could, you could start as easy as exercising. That's the easiest thing you can do. And there are levels to this. You can, again, change your diet to plant-based, uh, move your body, um, connect to nature as well, breathe some clean air because you're too, you're, you're, you're living indoors too much. It's too, you're spending too much time indoors and you need to start going outdoors. You need to start spending some time outdoors, outdoors, not in the city, not in downtown, not in Starbucks and coffee shops. No, go to nature, go to trees, go to, Go to lakes, go to meadows, go to go to places that are that just, that will help you breathe and breath too. I hear meditation. Meditation is important for you as well. Anything that can help you release this energy to come out from within you, and it needs to be transmuted. I mean, it's the basics of alchemical work. You need to transfer and transform something within you to something outside of you. Your guardian spirits, they're saying that they're protecting you, they're guiding you, they're trying to give you synchronicities, give you signs to show you the way, show you the right path uh, in your daily life, in your day-to-day -day life. They're always there for you. Talk to them, ask them questions. Don't hesitate, don't be shy. Just ask if you're confused, if you don't understand something, and they will send you a sign. They speak to you in sign. They speak to you in numbers, I heard. If you see a lot of 555 or 777, for example, that's a direct answer coming from them um, about what you need to do in your journey. For example, if you're thinking about something that you want to do and all of a sudden you see 555 or 777, that means that you have to do it. That means that you need to do it. Um, so follow this guidance that comes from them. Um, this guidance can come in form of messages as well that you see on uh, on billboards, on screens, on your TV screen, on your computer. Just every time a message speaks to you, knows that it's coming from your uh, spirits. Uh, so you can activate your power, so you can unleash your power because you have uh, a lot of potential, you have a lot of gifts and abilities that you can actually share with the world. And these things are beautiful. These things are given to you for a reason. So you can um, continue this legacy, continue spreading magic and witchcraft and the occult and whatever you have to offer with the world. That's why you were given these abilities, but they're still inside of you. You just have to work on putting them out there for the world and you're gonna feel better. Your spirits are saying you're gonna feel so much better. Your energy is gonna flow better when you're gonna start sharing and putting this thing outside of you. And once you empty yourself, you leave room for something better to come in. It could be a new gift, a new ability, or reaching a new level that will help you um, excel in your life and inspire others the same way you were inspired. <clears throat> and one last thing from your spirits here to close the reading.
Your spirits are saying to not give up. Don't give up. No matter how hard things get. No matter how hard things get. And you think that the whole world is against you. Don't give up. Because everything is there for a reason. It's to make you stronger. It's to make you ready for the amazing success in life that's coming for you. Don't give up no matter how hard it gets. Keep going on. Keep moving forward with what you need to do. Follow the signs. Take care of yourself. Let that energy out through what I mentioned. And everything is going to be amazing for you. And this is what I have for you. Spirits are asking me to stop right here. I'm going to close the portal. Thank you for all the spirits that were present in this reading for everyone. Thank you guys for watching. I truly appreciate your support. She's Maral Jin just Kirala this Finis Milehar Junjis Kalak Mirifis Aintis Malachin this Kunimin Dalamitish Kasfuli Ich Morebit She's Korelamak Mundis Malak Pish Paras Fahan And I hereby declare the portal she's for it. She's closed.